What's going on, fellas? I know it's been a long time since I posted a video, but good reason. Uh, life's been pretty rough lately. <clears throat> I had several things I was going through, and uh, I just now got some time to get out and get away and go do some fishing. But uh, yeah, I recently lost my mother and uh, we're actually coming up on Mother's Day. It's gonna be a rough day for me, but uh, <clears throat> it was a, uh, it was rough, but it was also beautiful at the same time, man. Uh, I got to spend uh, about five days with her, her last five days. And uh, I talked to her as much as I can and tried to relax her and play all her favorite songs and tell her how much I loved her and <clears throat> basically to help her get through that transition you know that's the one thing that we're all guaranteed and uh, she went peacefully and no pain uh, yeah it's been a long ordeal with her but uh, she was basically bedridden for like the past two years and one of the last conversations I had with her she told me me well I'm, I'm ready to go so that was a hard conversation having, you know, with my mother. And I couldn't only, you know, imagine how hard it was for her. I, I know I wouldn't want to have that conversation with my children, tell them, you know, that I was ready to go. But it is what it is, and I respected her decision. Uh, but yeah, that was the roughest part. And then right after the funeral, uh, I woke up Sunday morning about four o'clock in the morning. Literally felt like somebody stabbed me in my gut with a knife and was just yanking it around, man. It was uh, excruciating pain. I was screaming, passed out. It was, it was, it was crazy. But uh, yeah, needless to say, I ended up in the emergency room and uh, come to find out I've got several kidney stones and I'm currently passing one, which is actually not gonna pass. They did a CT scan and uh, it's about 12 millimeters. So that's a big rock. But uh, yeah, I'm due for surgery here pretty soon, I think on the 18th. Uh, from what I hear, that surgery ain't no fun either. I mean, I'll be under, so it is what it is. I'm pretty heavily medicated right now. Uh, can't say I'm not in pain, so. I'm headed out to Lake Conroe today, man. As much as I'd love to do a saltwater trip today, we couldn't make it happen. It's real windy down there right now. It's been real windy down on the coast, man. Uh, I've seen some guys doing pretty good on some days that the wind laid down a little bit, but I mean, today I think it's gonna hit up to 20 today, so there's no window for me. I don't like messing around in that wind. So we're gonna go up to Lake Conroe and uh, attempt to do another crappie trip. The last crappie trip we tried, we had no luck. Hopefully today we'll get on some crappie. I've been wanting to bring home some crappie and eat some crappie, maybe do a little catch and cook. But if not, worst case scenario, the one thing that is guaranteed at Lake Conroe is catfish. So we will target some catfish after that if we can't get on any crappie. Uh, I'm going up there to meet Joe Lujan, AKA Killer. And he's got a buddy with him, I forget his name, I don't know, I'll probably introduce him later on when we meet up at the boat ramp. But uh, we're gonna go launch over here at 8.30. And y'all wish us luck, man. I mean, hell, I've been I've been on a streak of bad luck lately, and uh, I don't know, maybe I need to get my ass into church, man. It's been a while. But uh, yeah, needless to say, man, I'm looking forward to getting, getting on some fish and ripping some lips. Uh, we'll catch up with y'all in a little bit, man. See y'all when we get there. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Later.
pulling some drag, whatever it is. I think it's a catfish. Yeah, I think it's a catfish. Nah, little drum. Well, he ain't too little, to be honest. <laughs> First one of the day. So, uh, we had no luck on crappie. We tried again. So, y'all know what that means. This is going to turn into a catfish trip. Y'all get ready. Skipping docks. Joe's on the board. He's wrapped up. Shit. There you go. Get your ass over here. Come on, big dog. All right, Joe. One, one. Woo, that was nice, too. Oh, yeah, hey, keep count, man. Keep, keep count, yeah, because he's going to cheat. <laughs> one, one. Don't count. Oh, no, nah, he can't count. Next thing you know, he's got 20. <laughs> Joe? I got me a crappie. Crappie? <laughs> That's the crappie we've been looking for, or what? Crappie. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, wrap me up. Come on, get out of there. Uh uh. Come on. Come on. Damn. I see him right here. He's wrapped around this post. There you go. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's good. Calm down, baby. Gio. <laughs> that's a beast right there. Oh, that's good. Oh. <laughs> Lost him. Gio. Seven. Oh, no, Kill it, kill it, watch out. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's trying to wrap you up. Yeah, that's a nice one. Slap me, dog. <laughs> Why? Why you throw over there, Joe? I didn't throw that was Mark. <laughs> up. Doubled up. Yes, sir. Man, they're hitting quick over here. Doubled up. Got a runner. That 
madera. Got him out now though. What's, going on, guys? What's happening? What's some catfish. catfish. We went to get some crappie, but we couldn't get on them. Oh really? Yeah, you're gonna be part of my show today, uh, man. I got a little YouTube channel. Yeah, man, Just say hi. We, we love hey, my, uh, my wallet's up there, don't <laughs> Well get it old man. Mm. How are you? Came over my way if you didn't catch it. No, we we knew. <laughs> we knew. I don't know. My glass up, I can see. Thank you. Where'd y'all go? Just all over the lake, Everywhere. north, <laughs> south. Yeah. Where'd you have the best luck? Uh, on this side over here. On the dam. Uh, well, a little bit past <laughs> the lighthouse. I don't even have mine. You can pull it up, man. Yeah. The old one doesn't know. This is the new one. Yeah, we couldn't find the crappie, man, but we always find the catfish for sure. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I think this time of year, crappie are pretty much on yeah. the way out, you know, they're, they're kind of slowing pull down. It, pull, it, pull it up and look up your name. I'll Go to Texas Park. I had to do it the last time I was camping fishing, I couldn't make up my mind where these were. What you can do too, once you pull it up, yeah. take take a screenshot of it so you have it saved in your phone. I have, I have it. Are all the catfish in your cooler here? Yeah. Not well, they're in the live well. Oh, they got me in the live well. Huh? Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do some good. Yeah, probably. Big ones, too. Probably got about 30, maybe a little more. Yeah, that's good. Either. Shoot you. You gonna eat them tonight or you gonna just freeze them? Uh, we're gonna split them up and then I got some guys at work we're gonna give them to. Oh, okay. They're gonna do a little fish fry. He got his daughter coming in town from Florida. He's gonna do a fish fry with them, too. Yeah. Which one? This one here? I just have my new wallet, man, so I took everything out and put it in. How the hell you looking up, though? He'll probably know better than me. I mean, uh, I... I mean, I don't do it off the website. Uh, uh, let's see. You can purge the official right there. You go. No, nah, that's to buy it. No, but that's how I did it last time. It had, it had me on it Oh, it tells you. That's right. It tells you you're used to a current. There's an app called the Outdoor Annual app. That's what most people use. What is it? Outdoor Annual. But you'll have to like make an account if you don't have one. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Shit. Man, I don't even remember. You sure you got one? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hold on. I man. promise, man. <laughs> you gotta have it on, yes. Whoa, well, that's a. Yeah. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Hot. So if you go to. <laughs> Y'all got a good day to go fishing, though. It was a. Uh... It was choppy as hell. It's gonna be 97 one. on Saturday. About here. Here, let's see if you have an existing account. Put all your put all your name and stuff in there. We're gonna end up on Google by the way. Google Earth. They took another photo, yeah. Took enough photos maybe. I don't think it's rolling right now though. Yeah. If you once you fill it all out, it should tell you you're still current. Cause I did that. I tried to buy mine a few days before it went out, and it said you're still current. No, nobody wants your social security number. You ain't got no money. <laughs> 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 Next thing I know, my wife be like, "Hey, we ain't got no money for our dollars." <laughs> And I'll be like, here we go. Thanks, Chris. Now right, give me that shit back. <laughs> <laughs> Holding on to it about two months.
Current. Oh, well, uh, hey, uh, hey so Joe. I, I, I screenshot it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah screen, I told you, screenshot it. That way you, you can have it next time. Yeah. Uh, my dumb ass, I said, I bought a new phone. Yeah. I don't even have to right. screenshot on this one. It's probably these two buttons right there at the bottom. The bottom one and the, and the, and the middle one right there. Yeah, that's right. The bottom one, I think you press the top one. The bottom one. Yeah. Mine's right. Oh, no, you don't no. hold it down. Just press it. I don't know. Mine's kind of the same way. Well, I put uh, the same size. We went to the Sprint store and you know, upgraded to a Galaxy S. Yeah. They show it this way. Yeah, give it to my. Well, y'all have fun. All right, man. Appreciate it, brother. You have a good one. Joe, why are you shitting bricks, Joe? <laughs> be on the beach, All right. So Joe almost had us taken to jail, but ah, see, I told, <laughs> I told you. But we ended up having a pretty decent day. It wasn't that bad. Uh, we, we we went to Target Crappie, but that didn't happen. Just like last time, we've been having bad luck with Crappie, but but we got all this. So that'll make up for it. That's enough for a fish fry for sure. Come on, let's count them, Joe. How many we got? How come? You want me to do it? Well, then come hold the camera. One. That's Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> One. Two. Two. That's Joe's. Three. Joe's. Four. Four. I'm a, that's Joe's right there. <laughs> that's mine Joe. for sure right there. <laughs> That's the one he caught. Ooh, that's a nice one. <laughs> that's the one Mark caught. What's that? Five? Joe caught it. I just had to reel it in. Six. Seven. Seven. Whenever y'all want a catfish trip, y'all can just book one with Joe Lujan. Eight. Catfish King. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, that's mine. <laughs> yeah, I caught that one for sure. You can't even pick it up. <laughs> 18. Big one right there. That's Joe. 19. 20. 21. 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 We had more than we thought 31 32 33 34 35 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Man, we ain't gonna fit them all in the cooler. I'm taking Let's one, see. 
Let's count them real quick. How many was that? Five, what did I say? 40? So 41? Yeah. Or no? Shit, I don't know. Let's count. 42. 42, 43, 44, 45. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. 52. 52. Martin, what's your color? 52 pickup. What's your number, bro? You want in? Yeah, man, nah. take some home. You I sure? Take, no, take them out, guys. Shit, we can't pay much. <laughs> we call them on the scooter, it don't matter. <laughs> well, it wasn't too shabby. We didn't get what we come, what we came for, but we still got a bunch of fish. So, anyways, hope y'all like the show. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Book a trip with Joe Lujan, aka Catfish King. Catch up with y'all in a little bit. Appreciate it, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, so a lot of y'all probably know how to do this, but I'm gonna show you how to fillet a catfish and skin it. Cause I'm about to fry one of these bad boys up. Ain't nothing like fresh catfish. So I come in behind this bone right here. There's a bone right here behind his head. Cut down. Same thing behind this bone right here. Cut down. And I just come in here. Or on this side. Work your way down the back. All the way down to the tail. Hopefully y'all can see this. I'll find out here in a minute. Let me just follow that backbone. Come through right here. And then come down these ribs. And if you come down these ribs just right, you can get these fillets boneless. So then I just cut it down a little bit right here. Cut into this flesh. Once you get under it, you just pull your knife through. And you got a boneless fillet. That's one. I do these two with an electric knife sometimes, but I didn't feel like busting it out right now. Yeah, I should have rinsed this slimy bugger off first. I was in a hurry, fellas. I'm trying to get this home to Greece. I'm ready to eat. I ain't ate all day, man. Been messing around doing this video. I need some food. Again, come down, get under that skin, and then just pull it. Two nice fillets. Catch up with y'all in a little bit because I'm about to get this grease going. Might turn this into a little catch and cook. Show you my recipe later. All right, fellas. So I just got out the shower. Uh, I got everything that you need right here. I'm gonna show y'all to do your little fish fry. So start off. These two seasonings I'm gonna use just to uh, season the fish. And I got some shrimp too. I stopped by the store and got some shrimp. 
And then this uh, yellow mustard, you use it as a binder. You got some fish fry, Louisiana fish fry, vegetable oil, Louisiana tartar sauce. And then I got some Zatarain's hot sauce just for afterwards. Some lemons, and then some uh, steak fries. So there's your catfish for these. That's everything you need right there. I got this oil going. Once it gets up to temp, I'm gonna start frying this and I'll show y'all here in a minute. All right, so what I did guys, I just took that mustard, spread it all over these shrimp with both of these seasonings right here. And I did the same thing to the catfish fillets. And now I'm gonna bread them. All you gotta do is just sprinkle this stuff in there, mix it with the mustard, throw it around, you're good. All right, so back to this. All I did was take that stuff after <clears throat> seasoning it and coating it with that mustard and I just took it and battered it in this fish fry. Those are the shrimp and then those are the two fish fillets. And you're probably asking, well, how do I know when my, my grease is hot? Let me show you a little trick. Take your toothpick, if it starts frying, it's ready. Once you see the bubbles, it's ready to go. Go and throw a couple of these fillets in there. One, two. All right, fellas. So uh, I may have skipped some steps. I don't know, man. As I said, I'm, I'm suffering right now from these kidney stones, and I'm a little heavily medicated. But uh, this is going to be the finished product, man. Let me zoom in a little bit for y'all. Got the shrimps. Catfish fillets, little fried taters, some steak fries. And I'm just gonna hit it with some, some tartar sauce and some hot, some hot sauce. Anyways, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the show. Please don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. I'll try to get a saltwater video for y'all here pretty soon. Y'all take it easy.